Hi guys, I'm Ram Agarwal. You are watching my channel 52 Pixels. Let's get started. Hi guys, in the previous tutorial we saw how to edit videos and we learned the basic workspace fundamentals for video editing in Photoshop. But well, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to merge videos and apart from that, we are going to see how to create some smooth transitions between the two videos using Photoshop. So well, to get started, this is the, uh, the video that we started working with in the previous tutorial. And as you can see over here, somewhere around near the end, we edited it and we used the cut feature to cut the video. But now in this tutorial, what we are going to do is after cutting that particular part from the video what we are going to do is just we are just going to add a new video over here and create a smooth transition so that it becomes like a one video where this video ends and the other video starts so to get started what i'm going to do is to add a new uh, a new video what i'm going to do is just tap on this plus icon over here which is almost self-explanatory to add a media track i can just tap on this plus icon over here and i can choose a different video so I want to use this video now as a second video and I want to merge these so I can just tap on this one and then tap on open so that it is going to get opened up over here in the same uh, you can say in the same timeline and it is just going to get played after this one. So if we just see it is just going to get ended over here and after this it is going to start a new video altogether. So I will just play it once. So well as you can see the new video almost started like immediately after the previous video ended but the transition was not that good and secondly I just want the volume to be turned off for the timing so I can just tap on this one to mute the tracks and as I mentioned in the previous tutorial we can just increase the magnification or decrease the magnification using this particular slider over here so for the timing I'll just increase the magnification so that I get a clear view of this transition so now if we see around over here the video will end and this video starts and there's a very smooth transition of that black color but it doesn't look that good and i don't know i'm not much impressed with that particular one so what we are going to do is add a small transition so that they look seamless they, they happen the transition happens seamlessly so to add a transition i'll just tap on this one over here and here i have all these transition effects that i can apply over here and under this duration uh, heading i have the duration menu so i can just increase or decrease the duration of that particular transition when it is applied over here on the video so suppose if i want to add fade over here so what i can do is just drag it and i can add it towards the left or at the right or in between of these two frames so that they fade uh, like almost equally so if you play it now as you can see it is getting faded and the next video starts again with the fade but there's a small problem that these faded videos are creating that transparent background that we don't need so to get rid of to get rid of that transparent background what we can do is just add a new layer drag this layer underneath and with this bottom layer selected i can just go to edit and i'm not able to fill it so what i i'll do is just press ctrl and backspace alt and backspace and after pressing alt and backspace it is going to get colored with black color because black is my foreground color if your foreground color is white it will get uh, colored with white color so make sure that the background color is black so that uh, uh, the foreground color is black so that the transition is in black color now what i'm going to do is just drag this layer underneath over here i don't know if you can see it i'll just So as you can see the black uh, background layer has been added over here but it is just applying over there in the first video and i want it towards like throughout the video so i can just uh, tap on this right hand over here and i can just drag it until the video ends over here now if you see i'll just again zoom in to the frames so that we get a clearer vision and now if you see 
it is getting faded but the background is black this time and it is looking very smooth and seamless but again if you want the effect to be even more smoother and the duration to be small so currently the duration is one second if you want to reduce the duration you can just tap the end of that particular uh, transition and you can just drag it towards the left and from this one towards the right so that the duration is even more uh, like it's a smaller duration and we still get the effect so as you can see it was a small duration and we still got the effect but if you don't want the fade effect we also have some other effects to uh, make a cool transition so we can use crossfade as well let's try how crossfade looks in this particular one and let's start playing from here so this is how crossfade looks up even that looks better it looks it has that uh, effect of previous video being played in background to the uh, new video it has a cool feature you can use that as well again you can reduce or increase the duration of that particular uh, transition so that it looks good and it doesn't look over exaggerated or something like that but you can surely work upon with other uh, filters as well so we have fade with black if you want a white flash in your screen you can use fade with white or you can use a different color as well so i'll show you how fade with black or white can work again we are going to go to the intersection of these two videos i'll delete this one by selecting this and pressing the delete key it gets deleted again go to the transition screen and this time let's use fade with white so i'll just drag it and paste it over here uh, in between these two videos and now i can just start by playing this one as well so as you can see we got that white flash but it doesn't look that good and definitely not appealing for people who are watching that one so you can either reduce the size of that uh, transition or you can just work around with a different transition or a different color so it's totally dependent on what you want but i definitely didn't like this one so you we can stick with some other transition as well like fade or cross fade for that matter whichever suits the best for us and works the best for our particular tutorial so well that's it for today guys if you found the video to be helpful please like the video and in case of any queries or suggestions please feel free to reach out to me through the comments with that being said it's me ram agarwal signing off for the day see you in the next one thank you